Well, the sad situation in Ukraine continues to dominate the news, uh, social media, of course, all the front pages. Um, but what do you do in terms of your kids? Do you try and shield them from what is going on? Do you sit down with them, try and encourage them to understand what's happening? I mean, is there a sort of line, an age limit? W what are you doing, well, uh, Linda, with the grandkids? I think my grandkids? kids are all older, so it's up yeah, to them if the they want to watch the news or whatever. But my grandchildren are five and nine. Lila soon to be 10. But I just think they're far too young to see what's going on. They've had a terrible two years, like all of us, during COVID and that. They've had enough to put up with that, worrying all the time, not being able to go to school and that. And I know what's going on over there, and it's terrible, and I feel so sorry for them. You know, I've got really em empathise with them and that. But I just think at that age, they don't need to see what's going on over there. They really don't. So would you kind of actively turn off the television if it was on or turn off the radio or try and sort of shield them? Because social media, of course, I mean, if they've got phones, it's really... Quite but they're hard. not on social media, so they don't see what's okay. going on. And I think that. in the big wide scheme of things, I don't quite agree with that because I think if your child is only four or five, I think then they need shielding because they can't really, I don't think, comprehend. But, you know, at schools, you know, a lot of kids have phones and information in the play or they talk to each other. There are many ways that children find out about the news. And I think, personally, it's far better that you explain it within the household rather than then guessing games in the playground or something. Um, and there are some households, I think, who have the television on all the time anyway, yeah. maybe eating dinner while they're watching TV. So to think that you can totally shield them, I think, is very, very difficult. Um, and I don't agree with, of course, being frightened. I mean, as, as a well-aged grandparent, I can tell you this, uh, I'm hooked on it because of my job because I feel as if I've got to know what's happening and everything is changing so quickly, I want to know. But I scare myself sometimes, because I'm not a great sleeper, and I've had to prevent myself watching the late-night news, perhaps, mm -hmm. because I go to bed thinking of that yeah. little baby born in the dungeon or the fathers you know, saying goodbye to their children on the train and crying, and I think of all those things well, and go to bed with the images. Well, it yeah. makes you anxious, though, doesn't yeah, it? Does. I mean, it, it must does. make kids anxious. I don't yeah. have kids, so I don't yeah. have that decision no, I think to you're make, right, Carol. But... I mean, that advice, goes, like professional advice, goes right across. Whatever the age you are, if you mm. are going to talk to your kids, try not to be having these conversations or exposing them to it late at night, and the same with us. I mean, there is professional advice on this, and, you know, this is from a clinical advisor, Dr Grant, uh, Blaschke, who says probably not a good idea for kids under the age of six to watch the news. Uh, from six to ten they can watch, but the parents should sit with them and avoid stories with graphic details. And then over the age of ten, you know, sit with them and explain what is going on. So that would be the professional kind of You see, advice. the other thing is, too, that I know of some schools at the moment where they are gathering toys, they're encouraging the children to bring in toys for the children who, who are now in Poland or wherever. And so they're, they're going to say, well, why are we bringing toys and books and things like that? So I think they need a bit of explanation in a kind way mm. as to why they're contributing. And it's quite good to teach children at a reasonably early age to give yeah, to other yeah. children. Of course, back in the good old days, it was easier to shield them, wasn't it? I mean, we got a news bulletin sort of twice, three times a day. We just didn't have the exposure that, that we have now. And I think that's what's... Oops, I've just kicked the bucket. Um, <laughs> I think that's Not what's yet. really changed things, hasn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. too much news. It's too much news and you don't need to watch it all day long. No one does. Well, yep. It just used to be on at 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock, didn't it? But now yep. it just seems to be streamed all yep. day. Yeah, no, it, it's an absolute change. So it's a, a difficult thing to manage.